Rosanna Pansino has faced a lot of backlash for coming out and speaking on her experience working with Mr. Beast and seeing his edit on the video filmed not mirror what played out in real life. Despite the fact that she wasn't the only creator to have spoken out about the fact that Mr. Beast did this, people still had trouble believing her and were defending Mr. Beast hard. People said that he doesn't edit his own videos, wondered why she was speaking out now. There were tons of questions people had, including those who wondered why it was even a big deal. Now, this isn't the biggest deal in the world, but it's certainly interesting to know that Mr. Beast may be more calculated in his videos than we thought. I mean, obviously his productions are insane and he's putting out these epic videos and he's got a huge team, but I think up until now, a lot of people, including Rosanna, thought that Mr. Beast was honest in his edits meaning that people who compete in his competitions are shown placing in the order they placed in real life. But through Rosanna speaking out and Quackity, we're seeing that things might be moved around and probably for entertainment purposes. Rosanna and Quackity spoke out about placing better in the $1 million hide and seek challenge, both of them beating Logan Paul, who was found hours before them. But in the video, Logan was said to be found just one minute before the winner, Zach King. And Mr. Beast did a voiceover saying this. So even if he didn't edit his own video, he did at some point record that voiceover. The best guess people have as to why he would rearrange the order is to have Logan Paul be in his video longer to get people to watch till the very end. Mr. Beast has always been one to study the algorithm and his efforts doing so have clearly worked given his audience size being so massive but it did hurt some feelings and cause some confusion with the way that this was probably one of his techniques to keep his video doing well. The whole situation blew up this weekend and Rosanna was making sure her voice was heard in all of this, but the backlash grew to be too much and she's taken everything down and issued an apology to Mr. Beast. She wrote on Twitter saying, I would like to apologize to Mr. Beast. I should have expressed my feelings privately and handled things directly. I will be removing all of the posts where I talk about creator games and Jimmy. I will be honest in that the thousands of death threats I've received today are a contributing factor, but I do also sincerely hear the feedback from so many of you. People sending death threats over this is truly insane. The amount of hate was so massive and I saw it all over any post that she made this past weekend. I think her speaking out was important and was good. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people watching Mr. Beast videos thinking it's 100% real, but now it's kind of giving reality show vibes with the way that things might be edited for dramatic and entertainment effect, at least in the video that she was featured in. And I don't think that there's something majorly wrong with that, but I do think that you have to be honest about that or people will be confused and have their feelings hurt if they were a part of the video and they're viewing it back. I mean, there's a ton of people who have been on reality shows and come out later to say that they were edited to look a certain way. That was not the truth. But when it comes to reality television, that's pretty much known that not everything that you see is real and could be manipulated by producers for added entertainment value. The thing is with Mr. Beast being a YouTuber, I think a lot of people were just under the impression that he didn't move that way. And now we're seeing that he kind of does. It's just an eye opener of a situation for everyone. And the thing I've noticed throughout all of this is that there are some people who don't care if the video they're watching was changed for entertainment purposes. And there's people who do care. And it's why the situation has gotten so crazy because there's so many thoughts and feelings about whether or not Mr. Beast should be called out for changing things in videos. I personally think that he should have at least been honest with the people in the video about the edit of the video playing out differently for entertainment purposes, just so when they watched it back, it wasn't like this. I think it would have saved him from a situation like this, but maybe now it'll be written into contracts that he makes people sign that they are aware that the video might be different than what is happening. And maybe it's already in the contract. I don't know. I've not worked with Mr. Beast, but I could imagine maybe there would be a line in there that would say that he might be allowed to, you know, manipulate the footage however he wanted. I don't I don't know, but surely if that wasn't in there, then it's probably going to be in there now. And when Rosanna was on H3 the other day, the conversation of a contract slash NDA was brought up and she didn't seem too sure if she would be in trouble or not. So are you, yeah. are did you decide to break the NDA by coming out or was there some kind of legal uh, clarification you got on it? We'll see. Okay. <laughs> I got you. We love uh, that for you. I, <laughs> I'll tell you this, Rosanna. If anyone comes for you, we will stand in your way. <laughs> I uh, I didn't plan this. It's just I like I was saying. It just my trauma tank is full. I just can't take anymore. 
Prior to issuing this apology to Mr. Beast, she had been tweeting a ton about the situation, keeping the conversation going. I know she really wanted a response from Mr. Beast and probably the only way he would have spoke out publicly is if there wasn't a fire under him, but there really wasn't. Most people were just coming for Rosanna at the end of the day, but she had posted this saying, thank you for making me feel not alone. And she wrote, this has all been overwhelming and a lot to process today. I was scared to tell my story for a long time because of how much hate others have gotten in the past for speaking up about their own experiences. In the hours since posting my story, I have received at least three other messages from female creators who have had similar experiences with Mr. Beast and those around him. That will be their story to tell if they choose to, but it is making me realize that I am not as alone as I once thought I was. Also, unbeknownst to me, Quackity also told the same story previously on a live stream. He was also confused as to why they edited him out of the top three. Thank you all for the immense support. Words cannot describe how empowering and healing the last 24 hours has been. Now, the edit wasn't the only thing that Rosanna did talk about when she was on Trisha Paytas' podcast. She talked about it feeling like a boys club and that Mr. Beast was kind of rude. So I think that's what she's kind of talking about when she's saying that, you know, other female creators have reached out to her about similar stories. I don't think it's about like an edit going wrong, but about that kind of behavior. And tweeted out the amount of DMs I'm receiving from people with similar stories. Please know that you're not alone. You are seen and your experiences are valid. She also tweeted out saying, when I asked for the raw footage, Mr. Beast went radio silent. She also changed her Twitter bio to say, top three hide and seek world champion trained for years with my little nephews. Now, the reason why she was coming out about this, in case you guys didn't watch the other videos, was because she was talking about her experiences in the entertainment industry. She talked about it with Trisha Paytas, how she was tired of being walked all over in the entertainment industry. She wanted to be open and honest about her stories to help others. This was just one of the things that she ended up talking about. And obviously she's saying that, you know, there have been people that have reached out to her and it was healing for her to talk about this. But with the backlash, clearly as the days went on following her coming out about all this, it just turned into a whole other situation that kind of backfired onto herself, which is sad. You want people to be able to come out and talk about things things that have hurt them and not made them feel so good. And this is, you know, just one of those things that she was sharing. And then it turned into this whole mess and things did get worse for her, unfortunately, but it did, especially when she ended up sharing a music video to her YouTube channel and tweeted about it. Some people just kind of felt weird about the timing of it all. And I think that's really what led to more backlash and people questioning her. She had said, recorded one of my dad's favorite songs, Bad Moon Rising. This one is dedicated to him. Happy Halloween weekend, everyone. Credence Clearwater Revival is goat in our house. Now, I don't think that she started up this whole situation just to drop this, given that she's put out music videos before and never timed it out with any sort of drama. And it's still gotten her a lot of views on those videos. Plus, she's never in drama. But a lot of people felt that way about the timing of it all. And it made things a lot worse. And if people weren't making comments about her wanting to do all this and come out with the story for this music video. People were saying that she wanted views on her YouTube channel and all that stuff. And I just don't think that that is the case when she has a $8 million home. She's got TV shows. Her views are keeping it steady. But her posting that video and getting that backlash for sure led her to the statement that she dropped yesterday, taking everything offline and apologizing. Now, Throughout all of this, Mr. Beast hasn't said anything publicly, and I don't think that he will. He's managed to stay quite safe throughout this whole thing, and with a huge audience like that, we can't be surprised that out of the 200 million subscribers, and that's just on one single channel of his, there's bound to be people running to defend him through anything. And I think right when people heard about it, he did get some questions about the whys and what happened. But then everyone just started asking Rosanna the same questions. And since she was the one actually answering and responding to the public, she took most of the heat, even though she was calling out Mr. Beast. But there are a lot of opinions that people have about every single part of this whole situation. And I want to know what you guys think about it. What do you guys think about all the backlash that Rosanna has received and the fact that she has issued this apology now? And how do you feel about the fact that Mr. Beast hasn't spoken out publicly about this? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments. I love you guys so, so much. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.
Thank you.